Hey, uh, welcome to the Public Nuisance Podcast. Uh, I'm here tonight for Healing of the Nation. I'm here with uh, DJ Blanco, DJ Tone, and my man Ezra. Hey guys, uh, introduce yourselves, man. I'm 805 Tone, Oxnard, California. Born and raised, play all records, that's all I do. I'm a crate digger. That's it, you know? Smoker. <laughs> Midnight toker. But yeah, um, that's what we do. I do, I just, I just look for records. That's all I want is records. Um, and then I work. Then that puts me to work with the records, so. Yeah, yeah, DJ told you play your several times, man. You always got all this yeah. crates, always just spinning vinyl, man. I love it. That's it, just love all it. genres. Um, I love reggae, though. There's, you know, my specialties is like reggae, hip hop, funk, boogie shit, 80s, 90s hip hop, golden era. Yep. Um, but reggae is my heart and soul. That's like just, I can just do that, you know, just with my eyes closed because yeah. it's just my heart I can feel it the bass the keys you know just the sounds like angels talking you know just hey uh, yeah I'm Blanco and uh, I've been at this a minute for sure uh, actually this 25 years this this year is 25 years of uh of the sound system of the sargasso sound nice, system nice so um, and you know i've been djing for a longer time than that i i i fell in love with it in jamaica um <clears throat> as a young guy and seeing the power in the dance hall the, the jamaican dance halls are really like charged space it's a politically charged space it's a physically charged space it's it's a really dynamic exciting place to be it's kind of dangerous and it's really fun and it's amazing and the the sound systems are incredibly powerful so you feel it all through your body and uh i fell in love with it you know and i and that and the selectors that could <clears throat> keep this place from blowing up you know yeah. it could have everybody have a great time and everybody get hyped up you know and then bring them down and allow them to enjoy this music without uh, it going over the edge, you know, and still building up a vibe and a dance and having this really amazing space and being in charge of that, you know, and having, um, being a, able to run all of these amazing artists that, you know, you can maybe see at a stage show now and again, you know, but that's a rarity in Jamaica um, is to see stage shows. So more commonly, people get their music through records, you know, the sound system business there is. It's everywhere. It's, it's sound, little sound systems are run everything. So to be able to play artists that I love, these, these voices, these bands, which I, you know, think, you know, from my opinion, are some of the greatest in the world, you know, musicians and vocalists. And then oh. to be able to run this for everybody. So it's like, it's like, I'm not doing it. You know, I'm not able to sing like this. I'm not able to, you know, play these kind of music, you know, yeah. but I can play it for people and I can get them to enjoy it as though I could sing like this as though I could play these bands as you know as well as my uh, favorite artists you know and so I carried that back to the states and um, always keep learning back and forth so I go back and forth with Jamaican DJs and watching it evolve from you know early times till now and uh, and the sound system thing yeah I, I had I, I started building that up and I've been building it over the years it's, it's pretty pretty ginormous nowadays to tell you the truth um, so I brought a portion of it into the place tonight, um, into Mrs. Olson's, and so thanks so much for having us up in here and introducing people to uh, yes, yes, dance yes. hall culture and this kind of, most people from the States are familiar with this kind of drum and bass music, I think, uh, with house or, or yeah. techno and stuff like that, you know, and they don't really associate it with reggae, you know, but um, this kind of music, the world over is loving this kind of shit, like this shit is the most popular this is the fire shit. Like, Worldwide. It, all, all over the world, man. All over Worldwide. Europe, all over Africa, Canada. This right here that we're doing right now, this shit would be blowing up and your doors would be fucking streaming out with people and shit. And you see it on lot. You see it all the time, you know. You're like, man, look Word. at the dance halls over there. I wish people Word. would get it over here, you know. Yeah. But uh, We'll do it steady. Let's do it steady. Yeah, Let's make it exactly. once a month or something. The, you know, I'll have the people get to experience it and feel it and see yeah. it, I guess, you know. And like, uh, Tom, that's how we that's how we got to know each other because being fellow vinylists, you know, I'm, I I I really have been collecting my vinyl through the years. 
Um, and so uh, and I I've just got started like six recent. sick amounts. I want to bring up a, a special friend that we are connected to, and I remember I think that's when I first met yeah. you actually. Yeah. Um, I, I would say like we're all kind of proteges of I'm DJ sure. Ambassador Junior. Oh, Enrique Candiotti and. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. One, of the, one of the most Ambassador. wonderful people I've yeah. ever known in my Enrique, life. Enrique, my and I look yeah, back into the day and how many shows we used to do. I, I was like, well, how many shows is in a in a year? It's fifty two weeks, right? In a year, and I was like, I did that for five years with that homie. You know what I mean? So how does right. that add up to hundreds of shows that right. I right. did with him? Yeah. And, and I, I but when I think of you me. a lot, at, of course, as an individual and amazing, and we've shared the stage, big shows, the Hawaiian Aloha festivals and things. Where he's he didn't talking about it, but he can he can be on the mic too. This guy can do he's like real MC. dance hall stuff, MC, yeah. MC and toast it up for he's real. Like this guy, straight up, give him that mic in a band, well, and he's well, a DJ, everybody loves him. He goes they go a crazy. DJ for him. started off as an MC introducer, so but so he, so he's Ambassador like Junior though what, what, essence. what I mean I always say for some reason I feel that you I know you through him maybe. Probably. We, we probably do. We probably and, do. But what was true. how? Like, do you remember any, back in the day, like when we were doing? Like, what, do you remember? We have mutual what? friends from Boston. Um, oh. But okay. and so I think that when he he kind of if he sought me out or I sought him out in the initial part, but it was I think it was through the Boston link, and it was okay. like, oh wait, you know Rod the Shepherd Ferry I know era again, you know, and stuff like that. Was it the Shepherd Ferry era? No, no. So no, that no. was when he was in college. Yes. So yes. Yes. Okay. So. Um, and I, I, that's how I got to know Morel here. And then he would have that's me like, God. you know, fill in for shows with him. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And so I that's would, when I, know, that's how I booked you. I'd be having my he thing turned, and he'd give me yeah. some of his things. I'd give him, I'd drop him into some of my stuff, Perfect. you know. So the and, couple times he couldn't make it or whatever, he would send you and, precisely, and then precisely. you killed. Yeah, and absolutely. Then, uh, and then so we had, you know, we had a great camaraderie. Yeah. And, uh, that's so, a long time uh, ago now. Yeah. Looking back, it's big ups 20 big years ago. No, is it? Am I tripping? Yeah. That's yeah, right. over, yeah, yeah, yeah. over, yeah, yeah. So, over. Wow. So we haven't seen well, that. That was, that was a Ventura. <laughs> Twenty-one remember? years ago, Bobo. Hey, <laughs> that's when you had that Ventura club. Yeah, going and uh, that's, right. when right. I met, right. that's when that's I that's when I first right. met him. That's when I and it, always on the top of my, I got a show or something, and I, and I need a DJ. Yeah, always. and be, and also DJ because of him always. and his talent, but also because of Ambassador Junior, who we introduced me. I would say, this is my bro. He came from that lineage, so yeah. to speak. So yeah, and I always years. was and number always one him, and I and yeah we've done a lot of fun yeah. stuff yeah, you know for sure. But I've known you from then too. Totally, I used to get him on the mic. We played this little pizza place, this pizza wine bar or something. Our oh that rock. was uh, the, the wine, wine bar, yeah, wine the lovers. wine. Um, wine and then he would wine come lovers. up and I'd be like, Dude, wine lovers. The the, the Spanish hip hop things kind of could be popping, man. Now that's you know? what I was writing. Uh, the hip hop, we're doing reggae. We were hip hopping over that. I got that bass line and hip hop over the bass line. Uh, and I was like, you need to get on the mic. 20 years plus go. And same with uh, old, old Loop Man, too. I, when he used to do his thing, it was that's different there. That's what I, that's I, was I got like, oh, with do your thing. It's that's different. what I got with Ambassador and with um, Duke. Was it Duke? I don't know. I don't his remember. person. But yo, man, Ambassador. Those were rad ups. times, though. You know what I mean? Like, big. Ups. We were. God, we were so like just yeah, we so inspired, minute, huh? inspired in a way just to play and twenty years plus time. do ago. That's what it was. So, so. so talk about like being inspired. You know what? Who who the, you know, who would you say DJ Blanco inspired you? You know, like what made you get into the scene? What made you fall in love with the music and be doing it for this long? Growing up in Boston is always a really strong link to the Caribbean, and so I remember hearing reggae music from when I was just a little kid. You know, and loving it and feeling it and seeing the vibe around it. You know. And so uh, when I actually started going to Jamaica and seeing the DJs do it in the dance hall, and that's when the DJ part of it clicked with me. I knew I loved the music and stuff, but then spending time in the dance hall, that's what I knew. Man, I want to do what those cats are doing. Yeah. And so to me, that was my real inspiration was just uh, early DJs, you know, nuclear sound system, travelers, pieces, sound systems, Jamaican sound systems that were, gave me a blag, gave me a chance. And um, what year was that? If anyone might ask, uh, these are late 80s, early 90s. Sick. Yeah, Sick. Um, still getting after it, too. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so interesting times, yeah, definitely, definitely, and Turbulent needed, times. much needed best for times. the, the best times. word best sounds times. and power, yeah, movement for so, music movement. And so, I've been collecting music from all or from okay, so I'm as old as 
Jamaica, basically. <laughs> so that's just the way it happens to work out that way. We both we got independence. Uh, I think a year older, year earlier than me, sixty four. So I'm sixty five more. Yeah. So I like I feel like I grew up with this music. Hoota. To tell you the truth, you look good, like, bro. All those little <laughs> respect. It's just like all those um, those early Jamaican music. That's what I heard when I was a kid. And then through my teen years, I kind of like evolved with the music yeah. until we're up to the point we are now. And uh, these, to tell you the truth, these kids have lost me now. Like the latest, yeah. like the last <laughs> few years. It's uh, the trap hall stuff and everything. I, I, I'll play it for people, you know. You'll have like, some haters, but you have you some know, people. But, that, but uh, <laughs> I, the music I collect, I mean, I've got an immense amount of music, all from the foundation, all the way up from, you know, the earliest music all the way up to now. Nice. And, um, and my inspiration still continues to be um, Jamaican DJs and Jamaican sound systems. I love Jamaican sound systems. And these cats are bringing these giant trucks, man. And they have huge speakers boxes and huge piles of amps. over there in boston oh no no this is oh, in Jamaica, oh okay you know my bad I, mean? I totally yeah. missed that um I, so that that still inspires you me saw like that, that personally that, yeah oh yeah that's all the time sick I'm part of that that's yeah, cool years. so, so, so people, are gonna, people are gonna watch this man where, where can they find you you got music out online? I'm, you got um I, I, if you, I have music on youtube i have like a bunch of mixes i mean i got a lot of mixes on youtube and they're just uh just mixes of a lot of good music the mixes themselves aren't that fancy there's live mixes but that's uh, Sargasso Sound uh, on YouTube. Um, let's see. Uh, Maybe you can know. ask him to send you a, a mix on the, on the email yeah, or something. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, what am I, RT Schmid 6 on uh, Insta. And then um, uh, Sargasso, I think, on Facebook. And so if anything, with anytime you want to link me with that, I'd be glad to hook anybody up with any kind of you I know, have mixes. One more. I don't, don't want to go too far astray from it but boston is a huge punk rock scene too do you have punk rock records at all i i have that's a punk. big punk scene there yeah yeah i uh, i was never part of it there you yeah. know to be honest with you yeah they do share common space like the, va- merge, the vinyl thing and stuff like that you know? yeah that's a it's huge area. area you know they, uh, and so there is always that cross there's always been a marriage between you know? punk rock and absolutely Reagan, absolutely, though, absolutely but, for know, sure heck yeah. but no that's no uh-uh. i got a couple, couple bands i can turn you on to you probably like from your hood okay <laughs> <laughs> Wink. Hey, <laughs> uh, D- DJ Tone, man. Uh, yeah. He, he's obviously the local guy. Who Word. Oh, man. Yeah, Keeps yeah, it yeah. funking. Oh, Keep no. it real. Well, well you catch me. I got, some, I got some work coming. Uh, I'll probably be, I'm going to be doing a monthly thing in Ventura uh, this year. Uh, it's going to be a funk old school. I'm going to be bringing in DJs from across towns, uh, different uh, locations. Ugh. So it's gonna be all vinyl, so nice. definitely uh, look out for that, and that's gonna be in the Ventura County area, Ventura uh, downtown. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a, there's actually gonna be a few spots that'll be out there, so look out for that. Uh, for sure, one spot will be Blue Agave. Uh, we've always been a sponsor of them. They've always sponsored a lot of events that I've been a part of, uh, not only just. Uh, on my time, but on other people's time. So definitely I'm always uh, doing that for other, uh, you know, events for, for kids, anything for the, for the 805 community. I mean, I'm talking from central coast. Uh, we're going up to uh, Santa Maria. Uh, I mean, it goes all up to uh, San Inez, you know, we go, we're, and then we go all the way down to, you know, we go south. So, you know, up the grade whatever wherever we got to go in the 805 that's where we'll be uh there's usually a uh, i've heard your playlist they're another good rep, now another you kill another, it, another uh kill. people that i represent as outsiders uh they're definitely a community uh they, they're out for the community 805 and and that's who i've been rocking with um doing events with them uh the last uh two events we did um for uh, christmas and Thanksgiving. I mean, they give out thousands of oh, meals yeah, and I mean, thousands of yeah. gifts. Nice. So definitely, uh, that's what I'm about. And it's not about you know like some DJs. They're out to do monthly things and every weekend things and and weddings and you know I'm not about that. I'm not, I'm a, I'm a I'm a specialty DJ. I just <laughs> I rock different, you know. And and honestly, I don't. I'm not out there for for the money. I'm out for for the the learning and the and the experience and and to teach and to uh preach to to the kids you know because that's our future and and i want them to to catch it like i did but i want you know i should have caught it earlier but i'm glad i caught it when i when i caught it so 
I'm still learning though. You know, I'm I'm learning forever. So, so oh, yeah, I'm always yeah, respects. Yeah. But catch me, uh, like I said, at Miss Olsen's too. The carnival, you know, the carnival in Camarillo last year we, was. We we did got some carnival stuff the too. We did um we did a lot of uh, uh what shows. is it at the old town, uh, Camarillo. Uh, man, big ups to them for their uh, for their heritage nights. Um, they had their yeah, car, car shows, shows monthly right. car shows for from they like March it. to September. So you probably catch me once again out there too. Um, like I said, I'm stay active in in my community. So and like I said, it's not about the money. If anybody needs a DJ and they want to see some records play, mm-hmm. hit me up. Uh, hit up hit up Matt here. If not, you know. Uh, you'll 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 see me. You'll see some you'll see some hashtags or some uh, some. Uh, uh, you can look me up at uh, uh, eight hundred five tone uh, dot com. That's what it is. Eight hundred five tone dot com. So yeah, no, you know, I, I can one hundred percent. You know, I got a, I got merchandise <laughs> too. I got because I'm an artist too, graffiti artist. So I like to rock that way too. So I got some okay. stuff coming nice. out that nice. I'm gonna be doing with some a lot of uh, different artists too. That we're gonna be doing some some big things uh, here locally and uh, actually uh, in LA. LA is where the graph started, where I where I learned my graph, and we hit the trains. We're we're uh, definitely heavy in the trains. Okay. So uh, ca- you Go. know, catch me everywhere, touching a little bit of everything. But I'm about the the five elements of so hip hop. So look at that. We'll look for that tone burner. You know, on the side I'm of some, MCing, on DJing, the side of some trains and shit. breaking. Uh, I'm look for tone now. <laughs> yeah, because uh, everything. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can vouch for, for for tone man. Ever since I met him, since you know you came here and played the first time, you know you and I had a, a, a little conversation. You know, and it blew yeah. me away, man. That's like, you know, what you've taken on in life and the, and uh, yeah. the path that you go down, man. And you're 100 percent man out for, for you know. For the underdog, for the community, for yes. for you know, yes. for you know those those that, yeah, those that don't have, you know what I mean. Yeah. He's trying to give it to them, and I'm trying to teach them know. where I'm where I came from, and that you know you could succeed, you know, with with all the cards down dealt downwards, you know, and you could still become whatever you want. Yeah, you well, know? man, dude, you know, I I appreciate that, you know, because we see a lot of people that come through here, you know, some of them are just about themselves, and you know, this whole thing, and. But you meet a lot of these artists, man, that really are for the community and they're really trying to, to help out other people. And, and, you know, I think that's more what music is about, you know. Yeah. And, it's raw you know, talent. And, and just it's, all raw talent. You give us this outlet. That's huge. Yeah, man. and big so ups to man. Matt. That's big big respect. Big ups to Miss Big Spice. respect. Huge. Man, man. Yeah. Matt, dude, you're, you're an angel, bro, because honestly, you gave it up to a lot of artists here and um, yeah, and you keep doing it. It's and, a fantastic and, uh, venue, too. It's not, it's not like, like you know, some you know dive what? place Without or something. You know, some right. dive will kind of, but this place, here. man. We wouldn't be here either, so honestly, give it up to my man. Yeah, right absolutely. Man. You make absolutely. it effort to have actually a stage, right big respect. sound system, yeah, and lights. It's a, it's a nice place. Beautiful. This is artistic. This is where... A lot of people could take a picture this yeah. is home. From this is home. Do, bro. We're home. Uh, well, you know, yeah, it's but home. I appreciate you guys saying that, and you know, and you know, you, uh, you know, definitely gonna have you guys come back. Obviously, you played before, and Bonco, you know, I mean, I, I, I heard you out there it was incredible, and you know, I want you guys, you know, keep continuing, you know, coming back, man, because uh, you know, I love your music, I love what you guys are doing, and uh, I appreciate you guys coming in, man, and uh, Ezra, once again, thanks for bringing this whole thing here. Thank you know, Ezra, you, you do you. so it's much. The glue, for man, me. right Thank there. You. <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, all these you know, these people, they always call me, you know. Want to play here, and it's always like, hey man, get in touch with Ezra. Get in touch with Ezra. You know, if you want to come through here, sometimes Ezra I'm like, thanks, over. Matt. Yeah, <laughs> I get that, but you know, but, you just uh, send them to me because you <laughs> don't want to talk. To them. Who is this? Who is this? <laughs> but hey, thank you guys so much for coming in, man. And uh, hey, DJ Blanco, DJ Tone, thank you guys so much, man. Yeah, big respect, Bye. big respect. Thank you. Thanks for having us up in here, man. Respect, respect, dude. Yeah. Bless up. All right, guys. Thank you guys. Have a good night.